Hi guys, mess for everyone. Uh, today is the introduction of trigonometry. So let's have a look at this trigonometry uh, ratios. Okay, trig ratios. Uh, we got three ratios. Okay, first one we call sine, cosine, and tangent. And a short for uh, sine. Don't call it as a sin. It's a sine and cos and tan. Okay. And then what does that mean is a sine theta. Let's have a look at this uh, uh, right angle triangle here. So we got theta as angle and the right angle. So you know a Pythagoras theorem. So we named all three sides. The opposite to the right angle, the longest side of the right angle triangle is a hypotenuse. Opposite to the angle is opposite. That side uh, with two angles on is adjacent. Okay, so that's what we got. Now, sine theta, to find the sine theta, we use opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine, we find that adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. How am I going to memorize all this? We are going to go solcator. So we're going to S O H as a sol, C A H as car. T O A as tall R. So if you can remember, so ka tall R. So that means that find, find the sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. So when we do some questions, you'll be able to see uh, what, how we're going to use soccer tour or how we're going to find um, some of the uh, answers to the questions. So first thing is I'm going to sketch the right angle triangle because soccer tour is to do with the right angle triangle. Trigonometry is triangle, something to do with the triangle, okay? So I'm going to go... Um, as example is like this and yeah, right angle is right there so I'm gonna go A B C and question goes 21 and it goes um, 22 and it goes 28 something like that so I'm going to have to find uh, A sine A Cos A tan A and the B, I'm going to have to find sine B, cos B, tan B. Okay, so first thing first, when you see something like this, we're going to do this first. I'm going to call this one is my um, A and I'm going to have to name them, label it. So that's my opposite, so I'm going to go opposite. And then that's my hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. And then the side with the two angles is my adjacent. All right. And then I will write soccer tour on the side. Ka tour. So sine A is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. And then cos A is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse okay tan a is what opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent now remember i think we can sort of um, simplify this one so if you have it yeah something like that so leave it like that that's good now b now before you jump into soccer tour, we need to change a little bit. Hypotenuse won't change because it's a hypotenuse. But if I actually use angle B this time, that will be my opposite, wouldn't it? That would be my opposite. And then this would be my adjacent. Okay, adjacent. So now I'm ready to use soccer tour. So sine B is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over over hypotenuse so 21 over 
28. Okay? And the cosine B will be adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tan will be opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. 21 over 22. Okay? So that one can be changed into 11 over 40. Now, something funny about this, you might think, oh, I think I've seen this. I think, yes, you have. Because you look at this, the sign A is same as cos B. And sign cos A is same as a sign B. And then if you look at the 10A, 10B, they're flipped. Yeah? So they're flipped. Reciprocals, flipped. So they're just like opposite to each other. Okay? So they are related in a way. Okay? Just remember that. Let's have a look at just uh, quick questions. And next one more question. How are we going to do this? And you'll be ready to do using Sokotoa. You'll enjoy using Sokotoa. I'm sure you'll enjoy the Pythagoras. Yeah? using Pythagoras. So let's have a look at this. So for example, questions like this, X, Y, Z. Triangle X, Y, Z. And I have 11, I have a 60, and then I have 59. Okay, so angle X, okay. So what are we going to find is a trig ratio, trigonometric x uh, ratio. Uh, I want you to find the sine x and I want to find the cos y. Uh, let's have a look at this. So sine x is here. Okay. Now, uh, first step is labeling it. So that's my opposite and that's my hypotenuse. And that's my adjacent. Okay, so uh, soccer toa, we write it down. Toa. So what are we going to do? Sine x will be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Oh, well done, done. And then cos y. Mm, cos y, we got to do move around the labels. So now I'm going to do this one. This is my cos y. That's my opposite. And that's uh, hypotenuse, that's my adjacent. Okay, because we've done this one already. So when I do that, cos y is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, as you can see, they're the same. Okay, so you probably get the some feel for it. So let's have a look at cos x. Now, cos x will be same as, what is it? What is it? Sine y. Okay? So, let's have a look. So, cos x here, x here, and I'm just going to change this again. So, that will be my opposite, and that's my adjacent. The so cos x will be adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay? And then, I'm changing this one. So this one will be adjacent, and that will be my opposite. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, 60. So there you go, the same. Okay, so there's a pattern in there. All right, enjoy. See ya.